Hey there Keller Williams, this is Bryston from KWU and today we'll be learning how to create a custom smart plan. In command, we have a library of smart plans that are ready to be used and have contacts added to them, but you may want to set up a smart plan in your own unique way. Whether it be 36 to connect or following up with leads, you can create any type of custom smart plan that fits your business. So let's go ahead and get started. First, log into agent.kw.com with your Keller Williams login credentials. Once you're logged in, go ahead and click the Smart Plans icon on the left sidebar. Once you've reached the Smart Plans applet, go ahead and click the Create button in the top right hand corner of your page. Then you'll enter the name of your Smart Plan right here and click Apply once you're done. Now that we've reached the Smart Plans workspace, we can go ahead and review a few things here. The first thing I want to point out is the Trigger Manually step up here. So what that means is this smart plan will only trigger unless you've manually added a contact to the smart plan. So just keep that in mind. Over here on the right side of the screen, you'll see a few actions that we can select to add to the smart plan. To do so, simply click on the action you wish to add. So we'll go ahead and add a task. And as you can see, when you add a task, it can either be a non-touch or touch task. And we'll go ahead and enter the task name. Now, if you're adding a task that involves reaching out to a contact in any way, you can actually add a merge field to the task, which will auto-populate with information from the contact record. To do so, go ahead and click this merge field icon right here. And we'll go ahead and select contact first name. So for any contacts that are added to this custom smart plan, the task will populate on my screen with call and the name of the contact that's been added. Over here, you can type in your task description and you can also use merge fields as well. Down below here, you can add a hyperlink if you want. And you can also add a due date for the task as well. Once you're ready to add this step to your smart plan, you can go ahead and click this save icon right here, which is the check mark in the circle. After you've finished adding a step to a smart plan, it's usually a good idea to set a delay in between steps. Otherwise, if a delay isn't added, they'll all launch immediately right after each other. So once you've selected the set delay action, you can set your delay right here. Then click save once more. Another action I want to talk about is sending text messages to contacts. To do so, go ahead and click the action and it'll be added right here. Now remember, in order for you to be able to send text messages through command, you'll need to make sure that your Twilio account is connected and it'll confirm whether or not that is the case in this field here. And if you were to try to send a text without a Twilio account, a task to text the contact will generate on your command dashboard with the body of the text message in the task as well. The two message types that are available are static and dynamic. With static, you can set one text message that will be sent in this step, which would repeat if the smart plan were to repeat. And with dynamic, you can actually set multiple text messages for the same step, and each time the smart plan repeats, you'll send a different text message to your contact, and you can add up to six different types of text messages. And just like with the task action that we just discussed, you can also add a merge field to your text to make a more personalized message. And once you're done, be sure to click this check mark to save your step. If you needed to change the order of a step in your custom smart plan, you can click this move up arrow or this move down arrow also. And if you needed to remove a step from your custom smart plan, you can click this delete icon right here, then click remove to confirm. If you wanted to send an email to a contact during the course of a smart plan, you can click the send email action up here. We'll go ahead and scroll down. And you have the option to either send a simple email or an HTML email. So let's go ahead and type out our email real quick. And after you type out your email, you have a few formatting options up here as well. You can also insert a link if you'd like. And just like with text messages and tasks, you can also add merge fields to an email to give a more personalized message. For HTML emails, those are a bit different given the fact that you can actually browse your library for email templates. Once you've made your selection, go ahead and click next. And if you click these three dots right here, you can preview the email.
and also change the template as well. And be sure to enter in your email subject before saving the step. If you are wanting the current contacts that are a part of this custom smart plan to be added to a different smart plan that you also have, you can click the add to smart plan action up here. Go ahead and scroll all the way down. And then you'll make the selection of the smart plan that your contacts will be added to from this drop down. Then once you're done, click save. If you wanted your custom smart plan to restart from the beginning after it has completed, you can do so by adding a restart flow at the end of the smart plan. So we'll go ahead and click the step, scroll all the way down. Then you will set how many times a smart plan will repeat. Now a smart plan can be repeated up to six times, but if you wish to repeat it more than six times, it'll need to be set to unlimited. And once you're done, click the check mark to save. And as you can see, command is letting me know that I won't be able to restart the smart plan unless it's at least 15 days long. And if you click this link here, you'll be able to see the other rules that exist when creating a custom smart plan. So we'll go ahead and click OK and add a delay right before the restart. Go ahead and set the delay right here. Save that step. Then when we try to resave this step, it saved no problem. Once you've finished creating your custom smart plan, you can click save up in the top right hand corner. And once you're done, you can click this back arrow to return to the smart plans applet where you'll find your new custom smart plan. For more resources, click the question mark in the top right hand corner of your screen. Click Keller Williams University and use the search. Thanks for watching this video. But for more great videos, check some out over here.